yeah, yeah, really good to get it get it done. Um, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, a uh, couple of weeks, couple of months um, to get it sorted. But yeah, as soon as Matty offered it to me, I was I was really happy and, and yeah, glad to get it done now. And being a two year deal as well, does that give you a bit more security moving forward with your career? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I was saying up to this point, I've only had one year contracts um, here, so yeah, never really knowing what the next season's going to bring. So yeah, knowing that, that I'll be here next year um, and the year after, it's yeah, it's really comforting. And you've been with the club since you were at under nine level as well, so I guess that made it pretty pretty obvious decision to sign that contract. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Spent ten years trying to get to this position, so um, yeah, no reason not to to enjoy it while it's while it's here now and what was it that Matt said to you when he offered you the contract was it based on you know how much you've impressed him since you started in the first team yeah yeah just a reward for um for yeah my performances um we spoke about it at the end of last year that um kind of almost there in terms of the trust and and yeah i think this shows now that that i'm i'm another another step on in that and you made your breakthrough um, last season as well and became a mainstay on the side and you've continued that this season apart from the spell you had out at the start of the season. I mean, yeah. how much are you enjoy playing week in, week out? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, it's nice this year that it's kind of Saturday, Saturday and you can, you can, you can have a little break between games. But yeah, um, yeah, completely different last year to this year with, with the fans and, and you kind of, you notice the difference between reserve football and, and first team football a bit more. Um, yeah, this the football that we're playing this year is in front of fans is is what I've what I've wanted to do for ages. So um, yeah, so that's that's a great thing. Does it feel a bit more special to you being, you know, one of our own, playing in front of the big bank and stuff and just that kind of like romanticism around it all? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, not a not been to loads of games growing up but um in the academy obviously and coming to games the big ones and and seeing that and yeah dreaming of of being out there and yeah but to be out there with with kind of three or four every time of of players that i've played with all the way through um yeah that makes it even more special and you do and how much do you owe your success and where you are now to all those coaches that you've worked with throughout your time in the academy yeah yeah um yeah so many to name but um yeah, always kept them in greener, um, kind of every other year, and and the last last three or four years in the 23s and 18s. Um, so yeah, he's been massive for me, and and there's many others. Um, since you first broke into the team as well, how do you think your game's developed? I mean, I remember you starting as a left back against Grimsby a few years ago. Now you're it's more of a centre back. Do you feel like that kind of suits you more? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, even as an under 18, when when Matty was the under 23s manager um, I remember him speaking to me and saying that he he sees me more as a centre half even though I was playing at left back um, at the time um, yeah I think it I think it suits my game uh, I can use the the attributes that I've got that made me able to play left back as well um, in that central position and I think um, I've added the the elements of the physicality that I need to play centre half um, yeah you need to and as someone who's still kind of learning as they go um, in League Two as well, you've played alongside some experienced heads in the likes of Pierce Sweeney, Tom Parks, Rory McArdle and George Ray now as well. I mean, how much have they helped you to get through some games and, you know, if things have become difficult and things? Yeah, yeah, I say every time I'm coming up against new things every week and, um, yeah, just seeing how, how people deal with that and kind of stay stay level-headed in, in different scenarios. Um, yeah, preparing for games right and and that yeah, just just kind of unconsciously learning from them. Um, and you I mean you've been at the Cliffhill training ground for a number of years now, and you've seen the building sort of age. And uh, I guess you're pro probably kind of quite happy about the news that the, potentially the training ground is going to be redeveloped. I mean that would be great for the players, attracting new players, and also giving you guys better facilities. Yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. Um, I think coming here when I when I first joined, there was only only this big wooden building and and none of the academy stuff. Um, yeah, so even from since I've joined, the um, yeah the growth's been been massive, and and that's the next step to to take it kind of well beyond um, the level that we are currently 
on the pitch. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can we can match that with our um, success on the pitch. Just finally as well, I think we're about a quarter of the way into the season now. I mean, what are your aims for the rest of the season? Yeah, um, well, like I said, promotion. Um, as a team, we've got a got really good squad. Everyone's hungry, and and there's no reason why we can't we can't get that get over line this year. Um, and then personally, just to play play as many games. If I'm if I'm getting picked every week or getting picked most weeks, then I'm I know I'm um, I'm adding some value to that and and hopefully getting us closer to to where we all want to be. There we go. That was better. Than